"'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, save one big boy or a little grown man, sat up in the kitchen with a pen in his hand. Sorry it took me so long. This holiday traffic makes me wish I rode a horse or a reindeer. Which reminds me, I need to include Rudolph in my letter to Santa, because I forgot to write about Rudolph last year, and I really regret it. Wow, you're in a festive mood. Why wouldn't I be? It's Christmas time! Did you get the stuff I asked for? Yeah. What are you doing with 400 packs of fruit snacks, anyway? Yeah, I'm making a fruitcake. You're what? I'm making a fruitcake. For Santa! I thought you were supposed to use real fruit for a fruitcake. That is real fruit. Look at the ingredients on the back. Chris, this is not a real orange. You have to peel it first. Stupid face. I don't even get why we're making a fruitcake now. Do you have any idea how long his journey is? And remember, the origins of a fruitcake go back to ancient Rome, when soldiers in the Roman Legion used to carry something very similar. And Santa's on a quest for peace and love, world peace, and he needs something more substantial in his stomach than cookies. What are you working on there anyway? What is that? Is that your next column? This is my letter to Santa. For your kids? For my kids? No, this is my letter. My kids can write their own letters. Oh, your letter to Santa. What are you asking Santa for this year? Well, number one, a socialist revolution. Two, ban the fossil fuel industry. And three, a big Red firefighter helmet. I don't think you're going to get any of that stuff. It isn't a lot to ask for. It's, it's everything to ask for. Well, it's everything everybody deserves, and it isn't a lot to ask for. Chris. Yeah? You're putting me on, right? As I put on. What are you talking about? You know, with all this Santa's real stuff. What? You don't believe in Santa Claus? Are you saying you think Santa's real? Of course! Otherwise, what's the point of being a good boy? I can't tell if you're being serious. Santa reads my columns. I know it. He wants to free Julian Assange and stop the slaughter in Gaza and dismantle the corporate state. Light over darkness, good over evil. That's the whole point of Christmas. You're disgusting. Yeah, we're not very good. You think you can add just one more thing to your letter? You want a red firefighter helmet too? No. I, I was going to ask if Santa Claus could donate to Shearpost so we could keep working on the issues that we care about and that everybody should care about. He doesn't give out cash. He isn't the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, I know he isn't the Tooth Fairy. He's still somebody who can inspire people to actually donate. And if people are inspired to donate, they will give five, ten, twenty dollars. They'll go to Shearpost.com and they'll do something right. It will help us all out. It will help everybody out. You're right, Fish. Let's get started on this fruitcake. Merry Fish Mesh Chris. Merry Christmas, Fish. He sings a love song as we go along, walking in a winter wonderland. 